Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Um, obviously it's my match preview for the Manchester City game. Um, obviously Man City away. Um, as Brighton fans, we're probably not going to expect too much, but. If it's anything like Liverpool, one nil defeat, I would take that all day long, especially from the champions as well. Um, but as I said, this is my match preview, so you know what's all involved. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So our, our last five games, we've lost, drawn, drawn, lost, won. Now, I think it's time we start playing a 4-4-2. Um, now, I know earlier last season, Chris Stewart said he would never play that formation. I'd love to know why. If you can work out why you don't like playing that formation, put it down in the comments below. Um, so I am very keen to see why he won't play that formation. I've got a funny feeling what the lineup's going to be. Um, as I said, I would like to see a 4-4-2, but I can't see it, and I'll tell you my 1-11 in just a second. But before that, Manu City's last five games is 1-1-1, one, 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 drawn 1. Um, so they 1-3, drawn 1, and then 1-4. One, one, um, last time this fixture was the last time we met, it was a 3-1 City win. Now, when we played them last season, we already confirmed to stand up. This season, it's not quite that simple. We need to start picking up three points um, soon after this trip is finished. So, we play City away, we come back to the end, and we need to start picking up three points. Um, Tottenham game, as a bit. One thing I don't get is how we can still. Come out and play four five one formation um, when we're uh, one nil down against Tottenham. That's more time to get more attacking. Uh, I think our tactics are a bit too late. Um, I know obviously um, there's not a lot of a body of fans out there, um, but we need to start changing it up a lot quicker um, now. Adrian, or sorry for missing that name, I probably have Andor. I think the name is. Yeah, again, sorry for missing that name. We are looking forward to seeing him against Tottenham, but it didn't happen. So hopefully, if you are going to sit away, you will see him. Let me know what you think of him. Um, um, right. Anyway, my one to eleven. In goal, Matthew Ryan. Uh, you know he's got to be the first team keeper. Um, that's, that's, that's only my problem. Well, I've got a few bits uh, that I'm expected to start. Days my first one. In right back, Martin Montoya. Uh, now, with uh, Bruno on his way back, I would not like to see Bruno play, but I can't see a plan on the left. Um, Obviously, because he's, he's a right back, not a left back. Uh, in centre back, uh, Shane Duffy. Uh, yeah, again, he's possibly another dead set to start. Um, but I would, I would, uh, you know, I want to see a couple of new players coming down. Um, our next set that is Lewis Dunk. Um, obviously, he's his best star. Um, in left back, I'm going with I'm going with Bernardo. I can't see him starting, but Bong's had two poor games. I think it's time to give Bong a break. And that let's have another look at Bernardo or Sutgar. But I can't see Sutgar coming into the 11. So I'll put Bernardo in there. Uh, you know, it's. Um, you know, Bernardo, 
Um, I'm not expecting anything from this game, so give him a shot. Now we come to the uh, midfield, where there's a lot of issues. Uh, Dale Stevens is in doubt, and so is Paston Groves. Um, but this is where I would change it to a 4 4 2, but I'd do it as I think Chris Shooting will. Uh, I'll go with a 4 4 1 1. Can't play a 4 5 1. If we do it against City, I'm not expecting no goal from us whatsoever. But you know, City, they will find a way of breaking us down. So, on the left side, um, Solly March. And um, you know, Jack Bash on the bench, Iskiado's on his way back, but can't see him coming straight, straight back in, uh, straight to the right in it. Oh, sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning. Um, I can't, can't expect him to get straight 9 minutes after his bell, uh, just like that. Maybe the last 10 minutes if he's on the bench, but I can't see him coming straight back in. Um, now, in centre mid, uh, Brown Kyle, yeah, yeah, again, I just said we haven't got no choice. Um, play Kyle in this fixture, Stevens is in now, and so Castle Grove. Um, so that's why I put Kyle in there. Next to him, I put David Popper. Uh, obviously, there's a bit of speculation going around that La Liga club is coming in for him in the next window. Whether that happens, it's got to remain to be seen. Uh, obviously, I'll keep a close eye on it, close to the window. No good taking news of speculation now, because there's a lot of things that can happen between now and the start of the window. So, um, now on the right side, Anthony Knockhart had a blinding game against Tottenham. Uh, the only player that really turned up in the first half against Southampton. Um, but, yet again, as I said, um, when Jack Bash is ready, obviously Chris Sheeran knows when he's ready, it's going to be an interesting time. Um, now, behind the striker, Bazuma, I think Bazuma needs to play behind the striker, not, um, not in the midfield where he was against Tottenham. When, when he played against Tottenham, he looked too defensive. Um, and obviously with Murray up front, uh, we did have a good couple of good chances uh, against Tottenham, but we would, they would have taken. Uh, as I said, Man City fans, I think a lot of us, well, a lot of you were travelling up there and uh, expecting nothing, but anything like a Liverpool away, away loss, 1-0, I'll take that. Um, and then obviously it's my striker, and uh, obviously it's Ben Murray. Um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, um, Andorra uh, is on the bench, we've got LaGuardia is on the bench, but Glenn Murray is just like the only one that could, that would start. Sorry if I'm making you yawn, I don't know why I'm yawning. Um, but, yeah. So that's my 1 to 11. Uh, as I said, I'd like to see Andorra start again. Um, or LaGuardia. Um, you know. And then after this game, it really is. We need to at least go 5 games on the bounce. All wins. If there's a possible chance to stand up. Uh, West Ham won their high horse. But I'll speak to you more about that in the West Ham match preview. But guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Check out now.